Good morning. So I am Kyla Nicole Bakalia EY and this is my presentation in regard with the problem-based learning plan. So welcome to English 1 prepared by yours truly. So before we are going to proceed with my learning plan, I will first make an introduction and what problem-based learning plan is. So problem-based learning plan is a teaching method in which complex real-world problems were being used as a vehicle to promote a student learning of concepts and principles as opposed to direct presentations of facts and concepts. So in a problem-based learning plan, students will be given some problems and they will be the one to identify on what they need to know on that certain problem as well as how they are going to solve that certain problem given. So, this is my learning plan. Learning plan first semester school year 2021 to 2022. So, this is the, the format of my learning plan. We have here the day and time, learning area, learning competency, learning task, as well as the mode of delivery. So, on my um, day and time, we have here Monday, 8 a.m. to 12 noon. On the learning area, we have here English 1. And on the learning competency, we have here the use or respond appropriately to polite expressions, greetings, leave takings, expressing gratitude and apology, asking permission, and offering help. So on the learning task, we have here the pre activity, lesson or activity proper, the discussion, independent practice generalization assessment as well as the extent and we also have here the mode of delivery so before we are going to proceed in the mode of delivery we are going to elaborate first on the learning task so on the pre-activity we have your students will be shown a picture containing the words and they will be asked for their ideas or opinions about the words being shown so the picture of the word Share your thoughts. So we have here the welcome, the hi there, what's up, and thanks. So students will be asked for their opinions or ideas on what um, these words or these phrases are. Um, why is it important to use these phrases? And um, what are the different uses of these phrases? So they are going to share their ideas or thoughts about this one. So that's for the pre-activity. On the lesson or activity proper, we have here, teacher shows a video of the topic and will ask questions afterwards. So, we have here um, the video. Afterwards, we, all, we also have here the questions. So, on the questions, what have you learned based on the video? What does polite expression mean? And what are the different examples of polite expression? So we are not just going to elaborate with it and watch the whole video. We're just going to proceed with these processing questions. So student will um, will be responsible to answer these questions. After that is the discussion. So we have here, teacher will discuss more about the topic by defining and giving more examples. So let's dig deeper. So we have here, polite expressions, the definition and uh, of polite expression we have here the example some examples so we have here please thank you and excuse me we also have here why do we use polite expressions and we have here another examples and we also have here another video so after watching the video of course the um the backup questions so for the first question who are the characters in the video for the second one, who uses polite words when talking to Mrs. Harris, we also have here, can you give some examples on the polite words that Chris said to Mrs. Harris? And for the last one, we also have here, is it important to use polite words when talking and why? So, we also have here, an, um, what is being polite? So, that is for the um, discussion. So, we have here the independent practice. A student will be given an activity to prove that they have understood the topic. So, we have here um, just a small activity. So, the try me. We have here some polite expressions. So, for the instruction, drag and put the proper polite expression in the given boxes for the given pictures. 
So we actually have here um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 um, expressions as well as 5 pictures. So student will be asked to drag um, the appropriate um, expression on the um, correct picture. So that is for the independent practice. So generalization, student will be asked if they have any more questions about the topic. So on the topic that we have discussed, um, student will be asked if they have um, some misunderstanding of the topic, if they have not fully understood the discussion well. So for the assessment, students will be given two activities to be answered. So we, since we are um, basing on um, the problem-based learning, the activity will also be basing on problem solving. So, for the activity 1, we have here answer the following activity. Create an appropriate statement or expression to the problems or statements given. So, for example, so we have here an example of a problem. You are carrying a lot of boxes and you are having difficulties in carrying it all. You saw your brother in the living room doing nothing and you want to ask for his help. What would you say? So, student will um, analyze the given um, problem and they are going or they should come up an answer where they um, have used polite expressions. So, example of um, an answer of this um, certain problem we have here, brother, will you please help me carry some of these boxes? So, that's, um, that's how they are going to answer this activity. So, in the actual activity, we actually have here five, five problems or five um, statements. So, on the first statement, you are having difficulties in answering your assignments and you want to ask your mother for a help. How will you approach her? So, students should analyze this one. Um, they should come up with an answer um, where they are using some polite expression. So, for the second one, you were given an activity by your teacher where you should draw your favorite pet and colorize it after. But you forgot to bring your crayons and want to borrow some crayons in your friend Kate. How are you going to tell her? And the third one, you are craving of some ham and you want your mother to cook some for you. How are you going to tell her? On the fourth one, you broke the cup of your friend, Mark, which you have borrowed. How are you going to apologize on him? So, on the fifth one, you receive a doll as a Christmas gift from your aunt. What are you going to tell on her? So, that's, um, that's actually five problems that students should be able to solve. After that, we have the second activity. So, answer the following. So, as you can see, we actually have here nine pictures. So, in each picture, there's a statement given. So, on the first picture, you want the window closed. We have here um, polite words, the could or the can you. So, what um, the student needed to do is they um, should um, create a statement from the given statement. So, for example, you want the window to be closed. They um, need to choose one of these um, polite expressions. So, the could or the can you. So, we are going to use the word can you. So, how are you going to um, express this statement with the word can you? So, can you please um, close the window? So, that's it. So, that's how you or the student are going to answer the remaining pictures. So, after that, that's all for the assessment. We are now going to proceed on the extend. So, on the extend, we have actually here the keynotes, the keywords. So, let's remember, so politeness helps us to deal with other people easily and smoothly. Being polite means being aware of and re respecting the feelings of other people. And for the third one, words that are polite include, please, thank you, and excuse me. Excuse me is what I say when I would like the attention of another person. So, um, this serves as a review on the whole topic that uh, was being discussed. So, the extent also include the assignments. So, on the assignment, 
paper, create a problem and answer it afterwards using some polite words or expressions. And share it to the class tomorrow. So since we are um, on a problem-based learning, students should create a problem just like on the activity that they have answered a while ago. So in a short band paper, they should create a problem or a statement. So just um, a one problem. And they are also going to answer it afterwards. So using some polite words as, or expressions. And they should be sharing it to the class too tomorrow so that's all for the um for the extend and on the mode of delivery so we have here the modular or print so parents as are asked to submit the module in the respective lgus or in school whichever is preferred and on modular or online for the online submission students are asked to submit their outputs through messenger or screenshots or pictures so that's all for my learning plan and the goals of my problem-based learning plan we have here too so for the first one is the flexible knowledge so the learning plan that i have created um well, was created by uh, making sure that student will be um, having a flexible knowledge in regard with the topic of or the discussion so flexible knowledge um, was being applied since students are being asked for their opinions are being asked to participate well and they um, are required to share all of their thoughts and ideas in regard with the topic so for the second one effective problem solving skill um, of course based on the activity that I have given on them almost all are based on problem solving so um so the goal was actually being um aimed so that's all and thank you